हेलो एवरी वन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास यू ऑब्जर्व दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई सा मेनी वीडियोज इन ऑल दो वीडियोज दे नॉट गिव इन करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन आई विल ट्राई टू गिव द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन हियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द क्वेश्चन इज द ट्रिकी पार्ट यू ऑब्जर्व दिस क्वेश्चन दे गिव इन ए वन ए टू ए थ्री लाइक दैट ए थर्टी total 30 sets are there each with five elements in the same way b1 b2 b3 and so on bn that means how many sets are there n sets are there each with three elements okay that is okay clear now you observe this what they given union of i equal to 1 to 30 ai is given as yes it means that a1 union a2 union A3 union like that. If you do the union of all 30 sets, then you are going to get the set yes. This information they given. This notation is very simple, right? Okay. Now you observe this union of B J. J is from 1 to n is yes. This is nothing but union of B J's like B1 union, B2 union, B3 union like that. Total how many sets are there? Total n B sets are there, na? Union of all these sets will gives you yes. This notation gives this information only. This is also easy to understand. You observe this one. Each element of S. This is important thing. Each element of S belongs to exactly ten of the AIs. Here many students confuse. Each element of S belongs to exactly ten of the AIs. What it mean? Actually, here thirty sets are there. Each set consists five elements. To understand this, I'll take a small example. I'll take three sets. Each set is having two elements only, and union of those three sets will gives you yes. And each element of yes belongs to exactly two of the AIs. That example I am going to write. Just observe. Okay. What I said, I am going to take three sets na a one, a two, a three. Each set is having two elements. Okay, uh, in in what way I am writing these elements such that each element of yes sir, is exactly in two of the AIs. Okay, in that way I am writing. I will take example like this: one comma two, two comma three, one comma three. I take in three sets like this. What is yes? Yes is union of these three sets na. Do the union of these three sets. What you will get? Yes is one, two, three. And you observe here what I considered each element of yes. This is important. Each element of yes is exactly two of the AIs. Suppose if I take one here, that one will be in two sets of these three sets. You see here, first set contains one and third set contains one. This element is exactly in two AIs. In two sets only, you take two. Two is the element of S. Each element of S is exactly two of the AIs. Here two I consider now that two is there in two sets only, not here. In that way I consider this example. Okay, what happened? I consider three sets, each set with two elements, such that union of these three sets is S, and each element of S is exactly two of the AIs. Now. In this set, yes. How many elements are there? In this set, yes, three elements are there. To calculate number of elements in yes, we have a formula. What is that formula? Here, total how many sets are there? Three sets are there. Na? I return three. Each set contains two elements. Na three into two divided by what is the condition here? Each element of yes is exactly two of the AIs. Each element of yes is exactly two of the AIs. That means I'll divide with the two. Now, if you simplify this, what you are getting? You are getting number of elements in yes. Number of elements in yes is three. This is the formula to calculate number of elements in yes. This is the smaller example I taken to understand the things easier. You observe here. What is yes? Yes is union of all these thirty sets, na? Now I'll try to calculate number of elements in set yes. Here total how many sets are there? Thirty sets are there. Thirty. Each set consists five elements. Na thirty into five divided by each element of yes. Each element of yes belongs to exactly ten of the AIs. That means you divide with ten. This is the formula to calculate number of elements in yes. Okay. Now what happened? 
uh, this uh, 0 0 will get cancelled you will get 15 here so number of elements in yes we got 15 okay now same like this only the information related to b's you observe here each element of s belongs to exactly nine of the b's and you know that union of all b1 b2 b3 and so on bn is s so to calculate number of elements in s so how you will calculate number of elements in s as per this information here b1 b2 b3 like the total how many sets are there n sets are there each set consists how many elements each set consists three elements no? n into three divided by you see here each element of s belongs to exactly nine of the bases exactly nine of the bases that means divide with nine if you divide with nine you will get number of elements in s that is the formula okay now you see here this 15 is also number of elements in s this is also number of elements in s you just equate these two you see what happens 15 equal to n into 3 that is 3n divided by 9 okay 3 in this 9 3 times okay n equal to 15 into 3 15 into 3 means 45 they are asking the value of n only in the question they are asking the value of n you observe here four options are there we got n equal to 45 so third option is the right option i hope you understand this class dear friends please drop a like to this video so that i'll get more energy to create many videos like this in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching have a great day bye bye